All right, this is Sarah, and the past weekend has been an incomprehensible collection of pockets where I've been asleep or trying to sleep and then waking up and having a lot of coffee and trying to do research, ordering things off of Amazon with Mark, and uh, yeah, then repeating that whole process, passing out, waking up, researching, ordering, that sort of thing. Uh, but we're making progress. I think we're actually getting closer to a solution for our exhibit space. Um, the screen. So we're projecting a night sky in a space and we're trying to figure out what we are projecting upon exactly. And I think yesterday or last night before I went to bed, we ordered two very large screens that we found on Amazon that I think will work in any case, at least for development. And today I realized that those are just the screens we need frames, so I uh, typed in curved projection screen and I found a bunch of... Uh, oh, I need that. Okay, I found a bunch of, like, things that I'm assuming are used in the context of, like, I don't know, convention spaces or convention booths. Um, they're like pop-up type presentation screen thingies, I guess. I even typed dome screen and I found a lot of really interesting things that uh, I don't know if they're readily available or if I can order them, but um, there's definitely a demand for immersive projection surfaces, which is exactly what we're looking for. Um, Let's see, I found this thing that looks really nice, but uh, it's pretty expensive and we, I don't know, even though this would work and it would provide a frame and it would be kind of like an all-inclusive thing, including the projector itself. Um, it, I found it on AliExpress, which I guess it would be coming from China and it was upwards of like $13,000, which is a bit out of our budget. Uh, and then, I don't know, I don't know if a dome would actually work for us anyhow, Mark was saying we might have an issue uh, with the projection resolution, trying to project on a curved surface like that. So I went back to a curved wall thing and I found this on Amazon. I guess it's for golfing, like golf simulating for people who want to like swing a golf stick at a, a curved immersive surface. They make these things. Uh, instead of ordering this for whatever, whatever, $150 to $400, and uh, hoping that it gets here on time, uh, we think we can build this frame, or we can have our carpent carpentry people who are helping us out build a frame if we model it in CAD and provide the specs. But we're thinking uh, this is roughly the size of the screens that we ordered, so we'll build two of them and stick them next to one another end to end and create like a, a corner that's just a curved continuous screen that's taller than you are, so if you're sitting in front of it, it's basically like you're looking out into space through a window, because you'll be in a dark room. So you can sit on the floor and look out into the void, kind of like the promenade, not the promenade, like 10 forward in Star Trek. Yeah. Yeah? Astrolab. It's like an astro. Like astro bridge? Uh, yeah, like that. So I think that's kind of what we're going for as of like a half hour ago. Right, Mark? Yeah. So, yeah. So we're going to make our own this. Whatever this is. Going into this, I wasn't sure. I guess Mark and I both weren't sure whether we were going to actually receive, like, a planetarium space to set up in. Or if they would have a room for us that happened to have a domed ceiling that we could just use as the projection surface. We weren't really sure. I think him and I were secretly hoping for that, but then we got here and saw that the ceiling isn't, or it isn't that, it wasn't that. The ceiling has a bunch of like stuff on it because that's like ceilings and buildings look like that. They have like air conditioning vents and ducts and there's stuff hanging from it. So we have to, we have to provide our own projection surface, which means we have to build it, which is fine. It just means there's planning involved. Right? Yes. I need more coffee. <laughs> and the coffee, the instant coffee, though very good, doesn't do shit apparently for me because I've been drinking this all day and I still feel mm -hmm. like I could just climb back into bed, which is like right here. So it's just off 
my periphery and it's tempting me constantly while I'm doing all this research, which is not fun. And Mark bought really good prosciutto. Prosciutto costs nothing here. It's like the price of paper. The, the package says budget on it. <laughs> budget prosciutto, wait, really? Yes. You can get budget prosciutto here. America's a lie. It's like the price of paper. Yes. It's like delicious mouth paper. They handed me money. And said, eat this. What does that even mean? What? Budget prosciutto. No, no, the brand was called Budget. Right? We'll eat anything, so I mean, yes. sure. This was supposed to last the entire month. Oh yeah, vol milk, my favorite.